I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, A Season on the Edge. I'm using 6-inch Tsunami Sandia lures in this video. Pictured here are the 7-inch and 8-inch models. Here's a brief look at the retrieve speed I'm using during this video. I'm on a Long Island South Shore ocean beach and the surf is about as calm as it gets. This is pretty late in the season and it's quite cold out. It's only 35 degrees and it snowed earlier in the day for over an hour and it snowed enough for it to stick on grassy surfaces. It probably doesn't show up much on the video. You might hear it a little bit on the audio that I have about a 25 knot wind on my back. And this is a late afternoon trip. The fish have been feeding on sand eels and I started with a 7 inch tsunami sand eel lure. I could get some pretty good casting distance with that with that wind on my back. And I caught a few fish out on the end of the cast but they were all quite small. Uh, and then I dropped a decent fish in very close and had another hit very close right along the lip of the beach. So I switched over to the smaller 6 inch tsunami sand eel and and then hooked up this nicer fish. I'm not a big fan of wearing gloves when I fish, but it was just too cold. I, I really needed to wear them. Uh, on my left hand, I've got a glacier glove, and that's a, a pretty thick neoprene and warm. And on my right hand, with the casting finger, I'm using an Aquaskins glove. That fish was hooked kind of deep in its mouth, but the barbs aren't very big on these hooks. Uh, they, I think they're just about right. And uh, if you just push back on the bend of the hook, it, it pops out quite easily. I'm pretty sure that was a shad hit. Uh, there were some shad around and they were hitting on the end of the cast and I did hook a couple of those. That was about as far off the shore as any of the bass hit from this point on. Everything was just so tight to the shore along that beach lip. And what I mean by the beach lip is where the waves break, there's always like a, a little bit of a trough right behind where the wave breaks on the beach. And it's just a couple of feet deep, but that's enough for sometimes game fish just to swim right along that and there's a little bit of turbulence. There's things that are churned up from the wave action and sometimes that's where the fish are. And uh, this particular afternoon that was certainly the case. Being that it was late in the season, this size fish here was uh, about as big as anybody was getting at this time, so I was pretty happy to be catching these. So many of my hits had come in close at this point that I just started throwing down more parallel to the shoreline so I could very carefully work that beach lip, get it right along that area where these fish were hitting. Um, it was a little bit tricky because now I've got a crosswind because I've got a strong offshore wind. But that's where these fish were. They were hitting right along the lip and, and that was another okay one. And uh, But it, it shook the hook when it blew up on the surface.
you can't get much closer than where that one just hit. If you watch just beyond the rod, you're going to see a fish surface in close to shore, and that's actually the only fish that I saw come up uh, this entire trip, and I was really in a decent position to be able to quickly get the lure right behind it, so that's what I did. I flipped it just over where the boil was, and uh, sure enough, that worked out nicely. This is a very nice outfit. This is a seven and a half foot pen regiment rod, and the reel is a pen Spinfisher SSV 4500 spooled with 30 pound test spider wire stealth. Just a really nice combination, perfect match for these conditions and these lures. This regiment rod is rated 12 to 20 pound class. On a couple other videos on my YouTube channel, I'm using a 7 foot regiment that's rated 10 to 17 pounds. On the terminal end, I have about a 3 foot leader of 50 pounds as fluorocarbon. I join the leader to the braid with a barrel swivel, and I have a tactical angler's clip at the end to attach the lure. I wasn't only short casting at this point, I was alternating. I'd make some parallel to the shore, some short, some long. It just so happened that the hits were coming mostly on the, the parallel and the short cast. It certainly took a little bit of discipline to, to work it in that close because in the beginning the, the hits were coming at a point that you, you would normally think the cast is over because the, the lure is almost on the beach. But uh, that just happened to be where the fish were and they were really running right along that edge. All the fish caught during this video were with the 6 inch Tsunami sand eels. On my YouTube channel I have a video catching fish with the 7 and 8 inch models. I'm done narrating. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.